This week at IHME, we will not be releasing new estimates for uh, COVID because we are in changing our model to reflect the emergence of the Omicron variant. Uh, we have been working for quite some time about incorporating into our model uh, waning immunity, waning vaccine-derived immunity, waning infection-derived immunity, and the matrix of relationships between different variants, the ancestral variant, uh, you know, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So our new model framework uh, is relatively straightforward for us to now incorporate Omicron, but it does take uh, in, until next week, we believe. Having said that, we have some insights into how the, the critical uncertainties about which uh, will influence how important the emergence of Omicron is. And the most important uh, is, you know, we have this new variant. Uh, it has many mutations in the spike protein. And so from a theoretical basis and from a number of lab studies, as well as some neutralizing antibody type studies, uh, there's reason to believe that there will be less protection from past infection, so more immune escape, and likely reduced vaccine efficacy. The reduction of vaccine efficacy for preventing infection may be quite a bit larger than the reduction in vaccine efficacy preventing severe disease and death. There is some preliminary data that hasn't been publicly released that we've seen from South Africa that confirms uh, those sort of expectations. So how worried should we be? Well, that's a function of, those, of really three factors. How much more transmissible than Delta is Omicron? We've seen Omicron in a relatively short period of time replace uh, the Delta variant. So we believe that that will hold true elsewhere. And therefore, we should expect eventually Omicron, uh, if it gets introduced into a population, will replace the Delta variant. Second issue is how severe is the disease caused by Omicron? And this is the area where perhaps there's the greatest uncertainty. There have been reports of quite mild symptoms uh, from some of the clinic clinicians treating these cases in South Africa. But on the other hand, if you look at the uh, hospital surveillance data in Hauteng province in South Africa, hospitalization, hospital admissions have already gone up fourfold. Um, and so while that's a smaller increase than the case notifications, clearly already hospitalizations are going up. And in the past, when we've seen new variants emerge like alpha, uh, it took some time from more rapid transmission in younger groups to spread into the older groups at greater risk of hospitalization. So we will need to watch carefully to understand. But at this point, our best assessment is it's as severe as Delta, but we'll see. It may turn out to be less or, or more severe for that matter. The third critical factor is how much protection, as I mentioned, does past infection with Delta or another variant uh, provide against the um, Omicron variant. This is going to be very important in places with high levels of past infection, India, for example, from the Delta variant, or parts of Latin America with high levels from the Gamma variant. Uh, whether or not it, this is as if they've, you know, be, they're a, a susceptible population that can now all be infected with Omicron. We would expect some uh, cross variant uh, protection, but likely, given all the mutations in the spike protein, it's greatly reduced. And but it'll be, take quite some time before we are sure. There have been already reports out of South Africa of population level analyses suggesting, you know, low protection from past infection. But uh, certainly more evidence will need to come uh, to light for us to be sure. And then lastly, what's the effect of, uh, of the new variant on the known vaccines? We know the vaccines wane over time, particularly their protection against infection. Uh, less so their protection, um, there's, there's more resilience of, of the immunity from um, vaccination for hospitalization and death, but we expect some reduction due uh, to the mutations in the spike protein. So many 
uncertain factors, uh, and we are trying and we will try to reflect all of those uncertainties in our reference scenario next week. I think the critical thing to recognize in the face of uncertainty is that we really need to focus on the sort of main strategies that are likely to, to help. Even if vaccines are somewhat less effective, they're still effective. And so we want to encourage vaccination and encourage boosters where that's feasible because of waning immunity in the Northern hemisphere, entering winter surges, getting boosters out is absolutely essential because if you take a place where cases are going up dramatically already like Germany and throw the Omicron variant into that setting in the winter, we could see very rapid increases. And so uh, trying to boost immunity back to the levels uh, that can happen after the second dose of uh, the mRNA vaccines, as example, will, will be an important strategy as is you know reaching those who haven't been vaccinated to date. Masks will work just as effectively for this variant, we believe, as for all prior variants, and certainly high quality masks will be even more effective. We know, for example, that N95 masks, because of the very low levels of transmission in healthcare workers, uh, these are very, very effective interventions. And so uh, people can manage their own risk through mask use, and this may become a more credible strategy for managing uh, if there's rapid transmission of uh, uh, you know, rapid transmission underway in, in, in uh, certain countries. And then last strategy is to try to slow the spread of uh, Omicron through, uh, you know, thoughtful strategies that reduce the risk of transmission from a, um, a you know, travelers coming into the country. So screening all travelers, requiring mask use on planes and testing before people get onto airplanes uh, make a tremendous amount of, of sense in, in a, as a cautious strategy. So we will be releasing next week uh, results that try to quantify all these dimensions. Uh, at the end of the day, we already can expect that compared to what we were saying before, it is likely the um, advent of the Omicron variant means that uh, our estimates of infections, hospitalizations, and deaths for many parts of the world will be up very substantially. 